Greetings, fellow redeemed in our Lord Jesus Christ. Today's devotion for Wednesday, September 23rd, comes from 1 John chapter 2, and the theme is, Do not love the world. St. John writes, Do not love the world or the things of the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the desires of the flesh and the desires of the eyes and the pride of life, is not from the Father, but is from the world. And the world is passing away along with its desires. But whoever does the will of God abides forever. Brothers and sisters, St. John is writing to us today because we are Christian. And because we are Christian, we live out of that reality. And so he says, do not love the world or the things of the world, what he is talking about is participating in the sinful actions of those who are unbelievers. And so the desires of the flesh, the desires of the eye, and the pride of life would include things like drunkenness, or sins against the sixth commandment, or envy, or greed, or dishonest business practices. He says that we should not love these things because the love of these things is not from the world. And so then, when he also says, and the world is passing away, it is similar to what Jesus says when he says that we should put our treasures in heaven, where thief, rust, and moth cannot destroy them. Because if we love the things of this world, they will pass away, and so will we. But if we love the things of God, then we live out of the faith and the gifts that he gives to us. This doesn't mean that we can't receive gifts such as food and drink, house and home, spouse and children, land and animals, with joy and thanksgiving, we can and we should receive those with thanksgiving. But we must avoid turning those into an idol, and we must avoid using those things for actions which displease the Lord. And so, again, we trust in that gift where we will be with Christ for all eternity, in that kingdom where the gifts of heaven do not wear out, and they will not pass away. That is our confidence and our hope. Let us pray. That we may seek the Lord while he may be found, call upon him in the day of salvation, and be prepared by his mercy for the day of judgment. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer that the church may nurture the lives of our children in Sunday school and catechism classes, and that we may all be grounded in the doctrine of Scripture through the study of God's Word. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer, that the sick may be healed, the troubled know peace, the grieving be comforted, and the dying be delivered to everlasting life in Christ, and that we may all be delivered from fear, anxiety, and despair by God's gracious care. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. All these things, blessed Lord, we pray you to grant us according to your merciful goodness, and for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Dear brothers and sisters, it is a joy to pray with you again this morning. I pray that you have a great rest of your day.